Okay, so what kind of function is this? It's squared. So if it's squared, what kind of function is that? It's a quadratic, right? Parabola? Okay, so where's my vertex of this parabola? Vertex would be at negative 1, negative 9. And what does A equal? A equals 1. So, vertex, negative 1, negative 9. Uh-oh, didn't quite make it, but that's all right. We'll pretend we did. Then, A is 1, so that means that we're going to go left and right 1, up 1. Left and right 2, so what's 2 squared? 4, so up 4. Left and right 3, 3 squared is what? So up 9. Left and right 4, what's 4 squared? So that'd be another 7, right? There and there. Nope. There. Okay. So here is f of x. Okay. So now for g of x, they want me to take the absolute value of that, right? So when I take the absolute value of that, all that's going to do is it's going to take all the y negative values and make them positive numbers, right? So the absolute value of zero, so the absolute value of zero is still zero, right? The absolute value of seven is still seven. So what about? Over here, when the absolute value, what's the absolute value of negative 5? So it's going to be 5. What's the absolute value of negative 8? Positive 8. What's the absolute value of negative 9? Positive 9. And then again, we'd have an 8 here, because this negative 8 would go, wait, this negative 8 would go to 8. This negative 5 would go to a positive 5. And so our parabola is no longer a parabola. It now looks like that. Okay, so again, they want us to write a piecewise function. So if we're going to write a piecewise function, This fir the outside part here stays the same, right? It's just only like, um, give me a different color. It's, so outside stays the same. So I'm just going to rewrite down the x plus 1 squared minus 9 and state that interval or w intervals when that happens. So that happens to the left of negative 4 neg and to the right of 2. So we would write that negative infinity to negative 4 union 2 to infinity.
the next interval we're going to worry about is from negative 4 to 2 in between the yellow. So what's the vertex of that parabola? Negative 1, 9. So negative 1, 9. And the A value, what would A equal? Negative 1? So it would be negative x minus h, so that would be plus 1 squared plus k, which was positive 9. And that happens between negative 4 and 2. And that would be it, our piecewise function. So now number 10, explain what happens. Well, what happened is we just took all the negative values for f of x and made them positive numbers. Yay. Therefore, we have no negative numbers on our graph.